Hello there, Star Wars toy fans. This is Jim. Thanks again for taking the time to stop by my channel. Well, if you hear a brrrr in the background, that happens to be the forced air wall heater keeping me warm in this room. Usually I have the wood stove going, but I uh, ended up working today and uh, did not get that running at all. We're in the middle of winter. We just had a big snow out where I lived, and it's starting to melt, but uh, still kind of in the rather cold. Not as cold as it in some places within the nation, but it is rather chilly. So I apologize if that's bothering you. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're returning, thanks again for stopping by. Today's topic happens to be the 1980 vintage Cloud City made by Kenner. This was a Sears exclusive, and I don't remember this in the Sears catalogs per se. And if it was there, I must have bypassed it for some more interesting toys that happened to come along with the Empire Strikes Back scene. Probably like the Imperial Attack Base or uh, Ice Planet Hoth, just whatever came out in 1980. Uh, nonetheless, this was one that was missing from my collection until, uh, until Christmas time. And the backstory to this actually happens to be that I asked my wife for a reproduction version of this for Christmas. And she picked it up, and I was really disappointed with it. Uh, now, I'm not going to badmouth the seller. That's not my M.O. But for those of you that are looking for replacements, uh, this video is just kind of a cautionary video so you can compare and contrast and decide for yourself if that's something that you want. So before I made a complaint to the seller, I wanted to make sure I was accurate in my description since I didn't actually own one. So I went searching online and managed to find one for a fairly decent deal. Now my wife couldn't believe what I paid for the piece of cardboard, but uh, nonetheless I was able to give the seller an educated opinion on what I thought about their product. So basically what I got was just the backdrop. The carbonite area right here happens to be the reproduction portion. And then the foot pegs are ones that I custom made myself. And I'll do a separate video on that for you folks. Now the figures that you see placed there are my childhood figures. And those are the four that came with the Sears exclusive. So we have the Han and Bespin, the Dengar, Lobot, and Ognaught. And I'll do a future video finalizing the Empire Strikes Back with the main characters and their Bespin outfit here within a couple of weeks. So let's take a closer look at this uh, Cloud City, and then we'll do a comparison contrast between the reproduction. All right, so we'll come around here to the dining area. And uh, you can see there, there's a stormtrooper and the floor is a nice platform. Really the only worn hole in the whole set was this one right here, as you can see from the frayed, uh, frayness. And uh, we go to the uh, here the carbonite. You can see that reproduction is kind of blurry there. Go to the top. That's where you can drop Han in through. Uh, we go around to the side here. This is the torture room. And uh, then finally, you can see there at the back. There's the backdrop. A few creases there in the top, but a nice view of the Cloud City. Now let's do a comparison with the reproduction. And uh, so I haven't even folded this right in it yet. But there we have our reproduction. And you can just see the, see the graininess in that. Sorry for the reflection of the light. There's the Stormtrooper. And now let's compare the Stormtrooper there. See the resolution is much, much clearer than it is here. Uh, and then let's take a look at the back side. So you can see the score marks that the seller put on there. They're not even square with the carpenter square here. And not only that, but you can look down below and you can see where even the cut marks there are rather uneven. We have double scoring and some tearing. He put it on a much thicker cardboard than what Kenner did. Uh, you can see there the thickness of the layer. And then you can check out the thickness there. So, And not that I'm opposed to that. It's more like the... Uh, Jawas, uh, <clears throat> Land of the Jawas, or the Ice Planet Hoth, but it's not really an accurate reproduction either. Now, for those of you wondering about the foot pegs, what it looks like on the underside, uh, here we have, that's, uh, that's the diamond shape that I made to go through. It's not exactly like the original, 
Uh, the original is a bit more rounded from what I could see from photos online, but I wanted to make sure they fit through the holes without widening them and, and ruining the paper there. And uh, this is pretty torn, so I didn't bother just uh, trying to fix that. That's just going to rest there. And I think it looks fairly decent myself. Now before I sign off, I thought I'd give you a preview of the instructions. These are original vintage instructions that I acquired a while ago. They're not in perfect condition. Uh, someone wrote with a scribble pen mark there, but there you can see how to construct it. And uh, then on the back side, there's more assembly and then showing you how to put in the foot pegs. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. And uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. Take care, and uh, the next couple videos will be uh, showing how to make the foot pegs and then the main characters in their best men outfits. Take care, and we'll see you on another video.